Welcome to another episode of Fedway Golf. We're here in Puerto Rico, going to Bahia Beach Golf Resort. Just left San Juan, gonna go over to the Grand Reserve area. Can't wait to go out there and golf. Wow. And I'll give you guys a tour of the course. Golf Club Resorts. We'll see if we can be 80. I mean, I think 80 for a new course is pretty windy out here today. Looks like a couple storms around the area. Check out that mountain. Just absolutely ridiculous, right? I just saw a snook over here, over here in the water. Pretty cool, man. We're gonna go check out and see what kind of food, what kind of drinks they have here. Let me get me a little drink, loosen up a little bit, and see what we got. But it's gorgeous here. Check that out. Got a par three. Jays today, baby. It's Jays all day. So this hole is called Coco Loco. Coco Loco. It's 468 from the tips. Hole number one, Coco Loco. Just on the left side of the fairway. That should be good. First shot was pretty good. Left side of the fairway. Looks like we got about a buck fifty left. And here we go. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Like the page. Let's get it on, baby. So we got the 149 to the pin. Pin is on the right-hand side of the green. I'm looking at just the middle of the green, 140 downwind. We got a downhill lie, so it's gonna come out just a little bit lower. But I'm looking just for 140, just right there in the middle of the green. Let's see if we can get it. Or go right at it. Probably got about 10, 12 feet, a little bit short, but it came out low just like I expected. Let's go. Two shots in a row? First hole at this beautiful beach resort? Let's go. I have no idea what the altitude is here in Puerto Rico. I'm just looking to break 80 today. Oh yeah. Here we go. 15 feet short of the flag. Perfect position. Par, baby. All right, first hole is complete. We got a par, two foot par. It almost turned right in there. But yeah, as you can see, first hole is no joke. I mean, it's straight down the chute. You got trouble left and right. They put a place on the left side of the fairway. Good angle to the flag. Yep, par for first hole. Let's keep it going. I'll take 18 pars. All right, guys, we're on hole number two. It's 376, par four. They call this hole the boiling bunkers. Check those out. It's a fairly short hole. It's a 376. I'm just going to take a four iron. Try to put it up there along with those uh, tall skinny palms and have myself what 376 so 200 be 176 so probably like 150 140 in not 
fast? I think I caught that one a little bit higher in the face. Didn't go as far, but we'll check it out. Short hole, like I said, 376. Just a nice, easy four iron. Man, it's nice and hot and humid. Can't wait for those uh, summer months coming up in Florida. I just don't miss the rain. Check that out, man. At 161, we're still downwind. I got the, the ball above my feet just a little bit, so I'm gonna have to grip down just a hair. But I got 161 pin. It looks like it's in the back. I got a nine iron. I'm gonna try to keep it just a little bit short of that because it looks like there's a bunker long and it looks like it's an uphill putt if you keep it short. So 161, downwind. Let's do it. Had a nice little draw in there on the right side. It looks like it hit the hill and rolled just a little bit left. All right, hole number two. Boiling bunkers didn't get me. Ha ha! Amazing. Got these little lagoons all around here. Please return to cart path. I know. I mean, does it get much better than this? Look at those mountains, man. Well, we don't have this in Florida. We're not in Florida anymore. AK, we're not in Kansas anymore. Man, look at that backdrop. Absolutely absurd. Hole number three, they call this hole Sanctuary. It's uh, 381 to the center of the green. Once again, I got four iron, just gonna lay it up there, probably around 150, 140 yards, and we'll go from there. You got any guana up here? Checking me out. I'm gonna go get him. Nice little stinger, keep it low. It looks like the wind switched on me. It was downwind, downwind. Looks like it's gonna be a crosswind or into the face a little bit now too. So second shot, third hole. I got uh, 145 to the flag. The wind's hurting a little bit and off the right. So I'm gonna take a nine iron and just place it up there. Maybe actually try to shoot it just a little bit lower. I pulled that one hard left. Yeah, as you can see, I pulled it hard left. But it's all right. Got another putt. Let's just get a two putt and get out of here. Baby. Three in a row. Like I said before, I will two putt all day. You get me a green every single time, I will two putt all day and be happy with an even par round. All right, we're on hole four. This is called uh, the short and sweet hole. It's 184, par three. You got water in front, and the pin looks like it's on the left hand side. I think I'm gonna try to go for the middle of the green at 180 ish. Looks like it's downwind and off the right just a little bit. Another little pool 
looks like it's back left of the green or back fringe. I think the uh, the wind pushed that one quite a bit. I think that one went like 195. I need to check if see if we're at altitude. <laughs> Seems like a lot of my balls are actually going further than they're supposed to. Yep, long again. Actually, they're really far. Definitely, definitely downwind. It could have been an eight iron. So I'm looking right there at that little green spot. It's gonna break left to right. So it's gonna go uphill a little bit. Get there, baby. Sit down. <sighs> terrible putt. Absolutely terrible. How's it happen? Come on now. All right, let's get this one. Let's go. Hey. It's not what we wanted. On the back fringe, three putt. Yeah, it's all right. First bogey. Let's make it up right here. I think we got a par five coming up. Yeah, let's make it up. Let's go. That was bad. It was a bad putt. I should have put it out there on that green dot. I missed that green, that green uh, area, that light green area. Probably like good, like three feet. Terrible putt. Let's keep it going. This one is uh, it's a par five. It looks like it's a dog leg left over water. It's called the Green Monster. 300 to cover that little corner down there over the bunker. I'm gonna try to cover that because I think we're downwind just a little bit. Ball. Oh, I think it crossed. I think it covered the bunker, which is like 330. Yeah, I think it covered the bunker. I mean, downwind. My ball's traveling a little bit further here in Puerto Rico. I think it probably went like 330. And I must say, these Jordan 12s, the Lowe's, black and white taxi, they've been kicking butt. It's my first time playing in these down here in Puerto Rico. Got to break them out in Puerto Rico, you know what I'm saying? But man, these are pretty comfortable, man. They got great stability. A little bit wider set sole, it feels like, compared to other golf shoes. I ain't gonna lie, I wish I could buy two pair. But you know how it is, buying Jordans nowadays. You gotta get that damn message, got them. So I did not blast it out of the bunker, past the bunker. I'm right in it. Look at that terrible lie. Oh, I can't even really go for it. I thought I could cover it, but I guess 303, I only went 320, 315. All right, so I got 121. Sorry, I didn't get that last shot. I guess I didn't press the record button. I hit about 110 yard seven iron punch out third shot 121 uphill just a little bit it's gonna go with a 54 degree because it's downwind i did not catch that one at all i guess i really don't know this wind too well not too bad but man it's hella short i am struggling to uh to make par on this hole that'll be my fourth shot i gotta get up and down for par man i'm way short holy cow bomber got a tasty five footer right here for par Oh, baby let's go i am just saving the pars today just saving the pars that's a five on a par five pretty sweet view. check it out man it comes all the way around the water elevated green hey you can't beat that man this grass is phenomenal jay's feeling good look at them jays baby moving on let's go that was the green monster hole number six it's a par four, 442 yards. It's a dog leg left, as you can see, straight up the mountains. So this is the uh, number three handicap hole on the course here. And this one's called Yukuyu. No idea how to pronounce that. Y-U-C-U-I-Y-U. Yukuyu. Par four, 442. Let's see what we got. Oh, baby. That's a good one. So that was a drive over that tree on the left-hand side. I saw it hit the hill. No idea what's over there. Oof, we stayed up. It's pretty close. Got a nice little lizard down here somewhere. I just saw him. Oh, there he is over there. Check him out. So I got 133 into the wind 
I'm gonna do a uh, pitching wedge out of this rough. I think I'll catch a flyer line. The pin is on the front, so I'm gonna just try to hit this pitching wedge as hard as I can into the wind. If it uh, carries the uh, the flag, goes over the top, so be it. So pitching wedge, 133 into the wind. Oh my God. <laughs> No, 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 no. Let's go, baby. Damn. Talk about throwing the dart for the first birdie of the day. Here we go. I mean, we got like a foot and a half, two feet, not even. I'm probably going to one hand. Look at this. Let's go, baby. I mean, how gorgeous is this? First birdie of the day. Let's go. First birdie, I think that brings me back to even now. I had that bogey on the par three, that three putt from the fringe. There we go, made up for it right there. Birdie par four, one of the hardest holes too. 440 into the wind. We're on hole number seven. This one's called the Bitter Brew. It's a par five, 527 yards. Small dog leg to the left, tiny, tiny one. As you cover the bunker on the left hand side, it's 293, we're playing into the wind. I'm gonna hit driver. on the right side that's what we want i am not gonna lie these jays are giving me some stability baby let's go it brings me back to playing basketball like playing some golf and some basketball shoes that's golden i mean i've tried some of these other jays but these are the most comfortable for sure yo mj michael yo we're on we're on first name basis give me another pair of taxis i need these i just went up this right side cart path only on this hole for some reason all right so i got my drive we're on the right hand side it's close to the cart path that was a little too close i think that wind's actually pushing from the left a little bit I gotta see what kind of yardage you got. Man, the cart guy, he hooked me up, man. So I got 247 to the flag, wind into me and off the left. We're gonna try to go three wood, 247. Oh, this is actually five wood, isn't it? It's my five wood, I gotta get three wood. I switched the, uh, the head covers on my three wood and my five wood. So 247 into the wind, as you can tell, you probably can't even hear me. We're just gonna try to put up there just a little bit short of the green on the left-hand side. Oh, baby, is that good or what? Just on the front, just what the doctor ordered. Let's go. For some reason, I'm just so relaxed, just smooth, crisp, right on the front of the green. It probably went like only 210, 220, because this wind is like a two club wind, but damn. All right, so we're just a little bit short of the green, which is perfect. That's all I wanted. I think I actually said that. A little bit short of the green on the left hand side. Look how tight this hole is. I mean, it's not the, it's not the biggest part five, but it's definitely tight. But right here on the front of the green, I just gotta carry that that little hill over there. Let's go take a look at that. So I gotta cover this little berm right here. As soon as I get past this berm, it'll come shooting down the hill. go left edge oh my goodness I wanted that back-to-back -back bird I should have birdied that one. Yeah, that's a tough, tough chip right there. Cause as soon as it hit that down slope, it just took off. We'll take the pars, man. We'll take the pars. Still even, sitting even. I think that that was through uh, seven or eight. Christopher starting up golf. He helped me out today. Appreciate yeah, it, man. Okay. We're on hole nine, even through eight. We got a 405 yard par four. Looks like it's water all down the left. We got a bunker uh, surrounding the green on the left hand side. We're just gonna aim for the bunker on the right hand side of the fairway. Just keep it there. We got a crane over there too. We can we can aim at. But check out the condos here too. They're pretty sweet, man. I think I'm gonna aim towards that green side bunker and have it fade back towards the fairway. Perfect. 
don't go in that bunker. Should be pretty good. And that's one thing I've been doing today that I don't normally do, is just calling shots. I don't normally call my shots, which is kind of strange, right? I feel like when you call your shots, you're more committed. You're like 100% committed to that shot. So I need to start doing that, calling my shots out loud. So follow up, uh, what I say? My God, did I split the fairway again? I so did. 36. Wow, look at that view from behind. Sorry, but I gotta change this. Look at that damn view. Is that not epic? Look at that damn thing. Whew. So I got 133 to the flag. The bunker is 118 to cover. I think it's downwind just a little bit. We're gonna go gap wedge. That was really quick. I'd love to have that one back. Gap wedge, 133. Just got a little quick on it. I don't understand why I got so quick. But it's just on the front of the green. I mean, once again, it's probably got like a 30 footer. Two putt and get out of there. You know what I'm saying? But beautiful day. Oh man, I keep getting caught up with this. That was a good two putt right there. Almost went in there. I thought I was gonna break just a little bit more, but look at that background again. I can't get over that. You know me and my damn mountains and my hills. We don't have that in Florida. I am even through nine now. Oh, I actually know. That was eight. That's hole number eight. It's called Harpin's Tail. All right, hole number nine. It's a par three. It's playing 180 today. It's playing into the wind. This one's called Bolero. It's got a Sunday pin location on the right-hand side. Just sucker pin, just wanting to bring you in, but I'm gonna go straight for the middle of the green. Just call it a day, you know what I'm saying? Let's Bolero this ball right in the friggin' hole. Oh man, that's feeding right to it. Oh. Oh. Was that not good or what? Oh my god. I mean, it's a little long of the hole, but damn. Did that not just like fade back in there? Wind pushed it over? Mm. Yep, just a little bit long. It was, it was tracking though. We're on hole number 10, 316 yard par four. It's a little baby dog leg right. I try to drive the green on this one. Wind's off the left. I got these guys up there putting out on the green. I'm gonna wait for them. And the name of the hole was August Angostura. Angostura. No idea what that is. I got about 40 yards left. A little chip out. Almost drove the green. That left for birdie. It's about 15 feet. Missed my spot by like five feet, my landing zone. Cause I wanted to land it about 10 feet short of the green. Let it run up, but yeah, it's not enough, not enough. Oh, that broke hard. Almost drove the green, chip up, two putt, move on. Let's get it on. Moving on to number 11. I gotta get me a drink, I gotta refuel up. So apparently they had their uh, a tournament here um, this morning. So it's in tournament conditions apparently. So that's why it was, uh, those first couple putts were pretty quick. But it looks like they're slowing out just a little bit. Uh, hole number 11, Jungle Love, par five, 475. Looks like it's straight into the wind. Gotta wait on these guys up here, they're still in the, uh, the fairway. Hey 
guys. All right, second shot. I got 165 straight into the wind. Pins on the left hand side. We're gonna go seven iron. Oh, just on the left side of the green. Just right here on top of the green. Just pulled it just a little bit. Pin high though. So I had the right yardage. I just gotta finesse it down onto the green. Should be just a nice easy up and down. I could probably pull this one too. Use your head. I couldn't leave it up there on that little upper bank area. All right, so we're on hole 12, blue iguana. It's 408. I used four iron. Oh, yeah, just past the bunker right there. It was 230 to clear the bunker with a four iron, so it probably went 240, 245 carry. All right, uh, we got 145 middle of the fairway. Pins right there in the front. I got pitch and wedge. Wind is from behind and from the right, pushing it just a little bit. So let's hit a nice, easy pitch and wedge. Come on, draw over, baby. Ah. Bunker. I haven't been to the bunker today, so let's go. Let's get that bunker game going, baby. yard par four but it's tight you got a quick uh, lay a barrier right here i laid up with a four iron probably got a hundred and some some odd yards in all right we got 168 to the flag wind in the face tucked behind that sand bunker so i'm just gonna aim for the middle of the green got a seven iron i'm gonna grip down keep it low ball's gonna be above my feet so i'm probably gonna draw a little bit more Perfect draw. Gotta love it. So that's what I like to see. Nice well struck. Talked it out. Hopefully it's pretty good. I don't know. I, can't, I don't see it. Oh shit. Did it go long? I don't know. Damn. That's what you like to see. That's what you like to see. I mean, that's probably top shot of the day right there. Let's look at this damn house over here. Jeez. It's got Greek goddesses and everything over there. Damn. Look at that shot. I mean, come on. That is a ridiculous shot. Oh, what a wasted opportunity. That would have been a great birdie. Great hole for birdie too. Damn. All right, we got the hole 13, Gonza, par five, 532. Water all down the left. Just down the left side, we should be pretty good. I'm sorry, I think I said hole 13, we're on hole 14, Gonza. It's a par five. It looks like it goes far left. But I went down this left side of my drive, so we'll see what's going on here. All right, I got 
uh, 202 with a flag over water. I'm gonna pull a four iron right here. Wind in the face again. Gotta cover the water at 202 though. baby yeah baby all right 202 Use the four iron killed it uh, I think I'm about 15 20 feet away from the flag for Eagle gotta get back on track because I missed that birdie opportunity back there sucks man I should have hit that but was this 14 yep hole 14 Donza par 5 in there in two gorgeous setting too Get in there, baby. Get in there, baby. Oh. Gotta love it. Bird, baby. We're on hole 15. We got Fern Valley, par three, 111 yards. Playing directly into the winds, probably playing like 120, 130. Just in the front. Should be pretty good. Dang, I thought I carried that perfectly to where it just rolled straight down, but just caught the fringe right there. Or the rough, actually. So I had a kind of a funky lie over there, so I didn't want to pull the wedge and stub it or anything like that. So I just put it through that. Almost made it. So close. Man, check out this tee box. Ridiculous, right? Right here on the beach. Go up the stairs. And what do you see? Oh! Wow. Ridiculous. Look at that. Wow. This is epic, man. Epic. Let's go. All right, this is hole 16. 457, par 4. All downwind. Oh, baby, that's a bomb. So this is hole 16, 457. Espirito Santo is the name of the hole. Straight downwind. So I cranked the driver down there on the right-hand side. We'll check it out. See, it's pretty good. I thought it was smacked, man, smacked. But we'll check it out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. But check out this damn view. It's right on the beach. Right on the beach. Oh, we got to hold this up the entire time. Oh, baby. I want to get with you. And take your picture. Woo! Yeah, this does it for me. This does it for me. Can I say it again? This does it for me. Does it for me? Does it for me. This does it for me. All right, second shot on Espirito Santo. I got a perfect little view right here. Straight through the V. I got 128 to the flag. Downwind. I'm just gonna use a little gap wedge. Grip down and let the wind take it. That was a terrible pull. I mean, I saw that damn tree at the last second. Terrible. Oh, that's all right, though. So I pulled the hell out of it, but it stayed up right there, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's see if I can knock this in for a birdie.
solid par on a tough hole. I know it's downwind, but I'm trying to judge that through the tree. I got lucky it stayed up top, otherwise it would have been way down there, but got lucky. It's all right, better be lucky than, than sorry, right? All right, we're on hole 17, directly into the sun, downwind, because the same hole, number 16 was downwind, so it's the same direction. 195, par three. The name of this hole is Estancia. I'm gonna go seven iron, 195, since it's downwind. It's nice and easy, it's on the left side. Yeah, 195, seven iron, way too long. Look at that way over here. I mean, that's a hell of a chip that I got. Downhill chip. I mean, what am I supposed to do with that? I think I can clip it. Oh, we'll take that all day, son. That was nice. Yeah, baby. What an up and down. What an up and down. Let's go. Let's go. What an up and down. Clip that shit so nicely. Downhill lie. Oof, got lucky with that spin on it. But damn, so good. Already on the last to go even. This is uh, hole number 18, 458, par four. The name of this hole is Bahia. The name of the course, the last hole. The entire right side is all beach, straight down wind. Oh yeah. What a drive on the last hole. Perfect setup for a birdie. Let's go. I fell out of that one, but damn. It's so perfect. So perfect. All right, here's for all the marbles. We got 145 for the flag, downwind just a little bit. Perfect, right in the middle of the fairway. Need a birdie on the last, let's go. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's short. I'll try to take some off of it. Dang. I gotta chip in for birdie now. Damn it. Should have just trusted it and just went. Went for it. Damn it. It's all right. Let's get it. Let's get it. it up could have made it right there appreciate y'all watching until next time